morning guys i've been so excited with my new deck that i was mad to uh use it and give it a go and see what i could come up with um now the one case always on my mind is the madeline mccann story so i decided to just i did a reading before um but i just decided to pull a few cards with my new true crime oracle and see what these cards will come up with. Now while I was shuffling this came out the death card. So obviously this said to me straight away that yes she did die. Um, in the reading I did before with the Rider Waite Smith I asked did she die at the hands of her parents in the apartment? And the top three cards that I had in that reading said yes to me, okay? But the card that was in this position, I'm just going to remind you, was this beauty, the temperance card. Now temperance is about balance, it's about moderation, it can be about patience, things like that. But what I saw immediately in this card when I pulled it, asking did she die at the hands of her parents in the apartment and getting this card where the angel is pouring water from one cup to the other. So... Now, in an interview, Jerry McCann said, so this is not speculation, this is not what I feel happened, this is not made up on any level. This is what he said in an interview, okay, years ago. He said, on the morning of the day she died, or the day, sorry, the day she was kidnapped, in, in, in inverted commas, sitting at the breakfast table, she said to them, Daddy, where were ye last night when we were crying? And apparently neighbours, people in a neighbouring apartment said that they were crying for hours, which means they weren't checking on them the night before at all. It was also a known fact that they gave their kids medicine to put them to sleep. So I had thought that they must, like everyone was saying, that they must have overdosed them on this particular night to make sure they stayed asleep. But when I pulled this card, this immediately said to me that they mixed drugs, okay, which would tie in with an accidental overdose. And some of the cards in this reading go with that theory, okay. So, death first of all, okay, so that just says, yes, she did die. I have false accusations and I have crime scene. Now, to me, that says, I'll just show you them. So we have false accusations and we have crime scene. Now what that says to me is, so when, um, what's her name, Kate, the mother, when she went back to the apartment and apparently um, found Madeline to not be there, she then, having left her kids home alone while she was out eating and drinking, she then ran back to the tapas seven which was the other people she was having dinner with her husband and friends shouting she's been kidnapped or she's been taken or whatever exactly she said leaving the other two kids alone again having had one apparently kidnapped she left the other two alone again in an unlocked apartment to go tell the others that she was taken so the false accusations next to the crime scene is just the false accusations towards someone having kidnapped her. Because let's face it, it's all a lot of bollocks. Excuse my French, okay? So that's what those cards immediately said to me when I, when I pulled them, right? Now we have intoxication under the death card. So that again would say to me, not intoxicated with alcohol. Well, of course medicines do often do have alcohol in them so this my intuition told me that this is linked to the whole overdose theory okay now heavy speculation under false accusations there was heavy speculation around those false allegations because there was these pictures put out of different people carrying their own children home after a night out which is what normal caring parents would have done, would be they would have taken their kids out with them 
and the kids would have fallen asleep with tiredness and then they would have carried them home to the apartments not left them in an unlocked apartment for whatever to happen okay now right next to that and under the crime scene we have organized crime or gang this reeks to me of the fact that kate and jerry were it's disgusting but they were good friends with a lot of elites a lot of criminals leaders of paedophile rings in the area politicians which let's face it are all corrupt anyway so this would speak to me of all the criminals involved in helping them move the body from the crime scene and making it look like you know that she was kidnapped down here we have private property now I'm not sure about the private property card. The only thing that came to me in relation to that card was the fact that a lot of people believe that she didn't, well, obviously the story is kidnapping, but we all know she died at some stage. Um, but there were a lot of theories that she had died a few days before that. Um... And that they waited a few days to, to kind of add to the whole kidnapping scenario. Which is why they would have left the door unlocked that night. So that they could pretend that someone did just wander in and grab her, you know. Um, But the private property, people do believe that she died somewhere else a few days before. So maybe it was on someone else's private property, you know. Maybe they were at the house of some of their paedophile friends some of their criminal friends some of their i don't know um apparently jerry is a freemason so maybe they were well no they wouldn't have all been at a freemason's house because it's a men's secret society so i suppose they wouldn't have been there unless he had been there no i suppose he wouldn't have been there with madeline but the only thing that came to me anyway with the private property card was that maybe that it was actually somewhere else that she did die um, on someone else's private property, you know. One of their criminal friends living there. And we also have accusations then, his fault, her fault. So obviously there was a lot of um, blame thrown around uh, and it's under false ac accusations. So obviously there's the world of false accusations because they tried to blame everyone and everything else um, and not themselves. When in fact they were the only ones guilty of anything, do you know? That's just uh, entertainment purposes only and all that rubbish. Um, my opinions. And the very last card. Misadventure. So, accidental death. Which would tie in with the whole overdosing theory. Um... Like, I do believe that it wasn't, um, that they didn't set out to murder her. But, obviously, they did have help from people to, to make her disappear, you know, to add to the illusion of the whole kidnapping theory. Um... And the underneath card of the deck, funnily enough, drugs or overdose. So, totally ties in the overdose, the intoxication. I do believe, um, now obviously my intuition told me straight away when I saw, saw the intoxication card anyway, that it was to do with... Like I said, the temperance card from the original reading that I did and the mixing of drugs. But having the drugs and overdose card underneath the deck once I'd done this reading. And then the misadventure card as the last card showing that it was accidental. But the death card, the very first card, you know, proving straight away that she did die. False accusations in relation to the crime scene, that that was all made up. Uh, organized crime or gang did help 
with the disappearing of the body so they wouldn't get in trouble. Heavy speculation around all the accusations, whether real or false. And private property, like I said, maybe just suggesting that she did die actually on someone's private property and maybe not in the, par in the apartment at all. Now, I know they did, apparently the cadaver dogs did get a scent of blood in the apartment. But then there was also, someone said that she did have an injury a few days before where she fell and hit her head. But that it was on the crown of her head that couldn't be visible to anyone else. So, I don't know how true that is, but that's just something that came through, I believe, in someone else's reading, maybe. Or in some documentary, I can't remember exactly, but anyway... So yeah, that's just a quick little um, reading. I just wanted to test out my new cards and see what they'd come up with. But that all ties in with stuff I have already thought, already heard. Um, things I had a feeling about myself. So let me know what you think, lads. Um, I must go now and get out a tarot deck and do my daily reading because I've been a bit all over the place the last week or two do them every second or third day so I'm still one now so I'll talk to you soon thanks guys let me know what you think make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed thanks guys bye